Minnesota selects as the first pick in the 1988 entry draft, Mike Medano. Guys, let's go back to where this all begins. 1988, North Stars are, are headed for a bottom finish. You've got an idea that you're going to have a top pick in the draft, if not the top pick. When was the first time Mike Madonna came onto your radar? It was in February of 1988. I re remember that because uh, I'd already announced that I was going to retire after the draft. And um, my scouts were telling me i got to get out to see this player, Mike Madonna. American kid from suburb of Detroit playing in Prince Albert. So I went out there and, and I saw Mike play. And I came back and uh, I said, I'm not going to be here, but we got an opportunity. I think we're going to get a franchise player if we end last. I saw a kid that brings you out of your seats. He's got a lot of charisma and he's tremendously talented. We're not selling enough tickets right now. This kid can sell tickets. And so that, that's how it ended up, and we were very fortunate to get him. Minnesota selects as the first pick in the 1988 entry draft. From Prince Albert, Mike Medano. Lou was pretty poker face. He didn't let any one of us know that who he was going to take that day. Being a Midwest kid and American, I was like, I, I just hope to, it works out in Minnesota. Mike, congratulations. Your thoughts? You're obviously very happy to go to Minnesota. Very excited. You know, I was glad to be with Minnesota. You know, and I look forward to the season. You know, and I'm going to work hard to be a part of the club and you know I hope to turn around the club. You know one of the things I, I got to point out because I've never told them this we had instituted somewhat of a psychological test we were the first ones to do it. He came out at the top in leadership capability because he was a very quiet almost introverted youngster at 17 years old and yet his leadership skills came out very high in the test. It's been an unforgettable week for Mike Madano. Wednesday afternoon, and he's in St. Louis, preparing for his NHL debut. Thursday afternoon, Madano will make his first player appearance tonight in Game 2. He impatiently endures an afternoon in his hotel room. Get to, getting to talk to a lot of the guys, and you know they're trying to calm me down and just go out there and play the game and play the system that we're, that we're all taught to play in. I've never seen that. Yeah. Never seen that. Uh, so what, what do you think when you look back at, at Mike Madano after one game in the NHL? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> still had a bad haircut. Uh, <laughs> couldn't talk. Well, I was a little bit of a deer in the headlights, and it's game four, game five in the playoffs against St. Louis. So you're, you know, you're out there skating for your life because everybody's uh, wanting to kill you. So it wasn't the best uh, introduction. But that second year was a magical run and really came out of nowhere for the club. How about for the guys inside the room? Did you know or feel throughout the season that something like that was possible? Not at all, because I think we're, <laughs> we're one of the last place teams in the league. And we're like, oh, well, now we got to play Chicago, won the President's Trophy. St. Louis was second overall. Then Edmonton won the cup before with Messier and everybody. So we're like, this is an uphill battle, but that was just something that just clicked, and then it just, the confidence was kept going. Madonna swats his own rebound out of midair and pass Chevrier. To this day, I think we still hold the record for most power play goals in the playoff season compared to Oilers, Islanders in the day, and it's great. The North Stars score their 33rd power play goal in the playoffs. North Stars now announced they're going to leave town. What was the feel like at that point? To go to Dallas, of all places, I mean, not exactly a hockey hotbed, and you're leaving a couple of years after this magical run that seemed to captivate everybody in the state of Minnesota. What did you think about when you said, hey, we're packing everything up and moving south? Well, when the rumors started, Dallas was like 11th hour. They just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, but they're like, no, there's no way you take the North Stars you know, out of Minnesota. And then you know, we get the call from Norm. We need you at training camp in uh, Irving. We're like, wow, we just were, we were shocked. You know, then the, the uniforms got changed there the last year. I thought the end was gone. We're like, writing was kind of on the wall. Something's happening. I should have been no knowing that because Norm asked me to get someone to design another logo for a third jersey, he told me. So I got Bill Mack, who did the Hobie Baker. He's a sculptor in town and very good. And he come up with just a star. So Norman loved that. But it, there was no end, we just, it was a North Star, so the star was on it. So I never figured that out, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> that was the jersey going down to Dallas. You put on the old North Star jersey. Your last game with the Stars was here against the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, it was. Uh, and then Billy Robinson grabbed me in the hall and says, hey, what do you think? Well, you want to throw a jersey on and take a little lap? I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, that'd be great. In honor of 20, distinguished seasons that started right here. We 
it got a great reception and got some great pictures of it. Just how started here, last game here. I was like, nah, this, this is great. I can, I can finish like this. It was one of those nights I was like, I, I can really quit on this night. You mentioned the fact that when you tested Mike, his leadership skills were off the charts. Would you have ever guessed you'd see him in this kind of a role right now? Yeah, after he was done. I, I didn't know what was going to happen then, but it wasn't surprising to me. How are you? Just fine. How are you? I'm Mike Madonna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, my son's favorite player. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Good. What was it like to come back here, not with the Stars, but back to pro hockey in Minnesota and come back and be a part of the hockey culture again in this state? Uh, I mean, it, it's always been in the back of my mind, moving back and, you know, either raising the family here. So I, th I think it was always, you know, it was an emotional tie. You start your career here. So what's going to happen when my playing days were done, where I was going to finally put roots up and, you know, raise a family. State of hockey is, you know, there's nothing like this in the, in the country here.